Historic rulings of the Supreme Court have renewed public attention in the high court. In a new Showtime docuseries, Deadlocked, How America Shaped the Supreme Court, award-winning director and producer Don Porter examines a year of groundbreaking decisions and decades of history to inform viewers how the court got to where it is today. Let's take a quick look. The only power the Supreme Court has is its legitimacy. <laughs> And if it loses that, well, then the question becomes, why obey? Really fascinating. Dawn Porter joins us now. Thank you for coming back on the show. Thank you so much. It's great to be back here. So often when you've tackled documentaries, we know that you've done historical figures like John Lewis, uh, Robert F. Kennedy, uh, Pete Souza, President Obama's former photographer. What's it like and how different is it to tackle an entire institution? Um... <laughs> That's a good question. You know, uh, one of the challenges of this series was where to begin, where to begin and where to end. Mm. Um, I was attracted to the series because, of course, the Supreme Court is in our news. It is on the news, like, daily. And, and I think people are really focusing about how important this court is to our daily lives. So, um, but, you know, tackling something that's in the news every day means it's in the news every day and there's always something new happening. So what we really wanted to do was step back, give folks some context for the current news they're seeing. How did we end up here? What is the history that leads us to this place? That's what we're trying to answer in this series. And I want to focus just for a moment squarely on the subtitle where you say deadlocked, how America shaped the Supreme Court. I expound on that a little bit. You know, when we were thinking about the title and thinking about what I wanted to focus in on, I think something that folks don't often think about is how do we influence the court? And by we, I mean the public. Does the court think about the public? Do they think about how the rulings impact Americans? And what can you do about that? Um, I know many people have felt somewhat hopeless as they've watched some decisions that they disagree with. But the truth is, the court actually is influenced by what the public thinks. And as you see in our trailer, um, you know, uh, a, something, a point that many experts made to me is the Supreme Court, its only authority is its public legitimacy. And so what we as the public can do is, is pay attention and say when we think either procedures or decisions are not legitimate. And that's really our superpower in terms of how America influences the court. In an interview you did with the New York Times, you talked about how you needed to really focus on at what point uh, the court became so political. Yeah. And I'm curious if there is a moment, was, was there a particular flashpoint that you feel that was when it really started changing. Yeah, I think there are several moments. Um, first, of course, are the Bork hearings. So the Bork hearings, for people who are not familiar, Judge Robert Bork was largely seen as a lock to be the next Supreme Court justice. But Judge Bork had a long history of very, very conservative writings where he posited a number of theories that were really alarming to the civil rights community, but also to many other legal scholars. Among those uh, uh, opinions that he had at the time was that Roe v. Wade should be overturned. And at that point, a number of people rallied and said, Judge Bork is too conservative and too radical for this court. Um, that did not sit well with Republicans. And we have in the series Mitch McConnell, in his own words, saying, you can deny Judge Bork his Supreme Court seat, but we will sure knock down your other nominees. And that is exactly mm. what has happened. We heard it in the clip, and then you mentioned it again during this interview where you talk about the court's strength comes from its perception of legitimacy. Do you feel that it has lost a bit of its legitimacy? Um, I feel that it has certainly lost the confidence of many, many Americans. And I feel that that is dangerous. Um, what people are starting to see is a court that is making decisions that don't seem to comport with past practice or precedent. And by precedent, we all know that, overturning Roe v. Wade, um, announcing decisions that say the EPA can't regulate, uh, can't issue environmental regulations, overturning more than a century of jurisprudence on gun restrictions. That's what the Supreme Court is doing. Clarence Thomas inviting the court to, to not only overturn Roe v. Wade, but to look at the underpinnings of gay marriage, of contraception for married couples. 
that's what he has invited the court to, to take a look at. So I think in practice, so the decisions that they're making, mm -hmm. um, that is, is in jeopardy. Dawn Porter, always good to have you on. And her new four-part docuseries, Deadlocked, How America Shaped the Supreme Court, premieres September 22nd on Showtime. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.